Kutch, the largest district of Gujarat, India, has its traditional and heritage capital as Bhuj, a city which flourished in the ages of Maharaja Lakpat Singh Ji. Bhuj has been a major cultural center with architecture evolved with a rich language. Hunar Shala was the heart of our trip. Hunar Shala Foundation was founded under the NGO denounced as Abhyan in the aftermath of the 2001 earthquake and it started with a team of few artisans, engineers, architects who worked out different construction techniques with the local eco-friendly materials which we witnessed at Hunar Shala where buildings have been constructed with materials and techniques ranging from recycled wood ceilings to wattle and daub and rammed earth walls. China clay used for plaster work, terraces to floors made from IPS or terrazzo floor and CSEB masonry walls. Hunarshala has two sections where one section is designated with administrative affairs and designing work while another section known as Karigar Shala where artisans are taught basic construction skills The first day of our earthen workshop started with the soil as a raw material procured from different areas in Bhuj. They taught us to feel the soil and find its physical and chemical characteristics by touch, smell, sight respectively. They also made us understand the difference between the three types of soil that is silty, clay and sandy soils. Then with boiling we can find out the weight by weight proportions of the soil present we also conducted sieve test with different gated sieves of 2.1 mm, 75 microns, 2 microns to separate gravel, sand, silt and clay. The next part of the workshop was understanding rammed earthen construction technique in which we understood how the fixing of formwork with plywood boards greased with oil were laid and metal straps and locking keys were used to fix them into position. The sandstone dust, silty clay soil, cement and sand were mixed in the proportion of 3 is to 1 is to 1 and water in 15% ratio with the ingredients was sprinkled. Once mixed, the same composite mixture was rammed with heavy rammers between the formwork. By changing the stone dust, the key ingredient, we could achieve different colors in the rammed earthen walls. The same composite mixture was used in making of CSEB blocks, which was carried out by applying intense pressure in the ready moulds where earth gets compressed and stabilized in form of blocks, which are then allowed to sun dry.
Out of the same materials, we erected various elements like masonry walls, arches and domes. The masonry walls were constructed out of the adobe and CSEB blocks wherein the former mud mortar was used and in latter composite mortar was applied. A similar kind of mixture was used in making adobe bricks where cattle dung and straw were not used as ingredients, uniformly mixed with pugging and casted in form of rectangular moulds. In the later part of the workshop, we learnt wattle and daub technique where the bamboo halves were tied within the wooden frames and lip-in or the surface finishing was done by a mixture prepared by adding ingredients like cattle dung, sandy clay soil and water. Uniformly mixed through pugging and then straw as a binding agent is added and finally applied on the frame. It can only be used as partitions and not a load-bearing structure. In this, we constructed lancet arch, semicircular arch and domes using CSEB blocks and composite mortar. Mr. Tejas V. Kotak, the co-founder of Hunarshala Foundation himself, along with the workers, explained us the space frame demonstration. The space frame is used to hold the roofs. The lady workers associated with the Unarshala Foundation taught us to tie the thatch with the bamboo halves with the string and hence to construct the thatch roof. Our study trip to Buj was majorly focused on learning earth technology at Unarshala with few infields of the site visits like Rudramata, Khamir, LLDC to name a few. To learn the urban construction techniques, workshop based hands on experience was given to us, which we were worth working with. It allowed us to explore the materials to the fullest to understand its weaknesses and strengths. We also went to Khamir, the cultural hub of Boj. We also studied that women along with the other co-workers, they work to promote the vernacular handicrafts of Kutch.
construction techniques at Hunar Shala which we learned over there but also studying the cultural handicrafts of Kutch at Bujodi, Rudramata, Khamir and LLDC respectively. It was truly a fun-filled and enthusiastic edutainment trip that we had at Bhuj. Thus, Bhuj is indeed a cultural hub of not only Kutch but Gujarat and India as well.